Hello, I'm Jeremy Chatterway. I'm Professor of Neurology at the National Hospital of Queen Square UCL, and I'm the Chief Investigator of the MS-STAT2 trial. What was the MS-STAT2 trial? So the MS-STAT2 trial was designed to see if simvastatin, this commonly used medication to lower cholesterol, could have an effect on reducing disability progression in secondary progressive multiple sclerosis. It ran for about seven years, and now what I'd like to do is share those results with you today. What were the results of the MS-STAT2 trial? So I'm sorry to say that unfortunately it did not show an effect in slowing progression in secondary progressive multiple sclerosis. And I know this will take time to, to absorb, but we are proud that we have delivered an excellent trial that has answered this question definitively. What does this mean for people with MS? So what does this mean? So it's a landmark study. And of course, unfortunately, as in life, positive results are never guaranteed. And what we do have from this very well done study is a true result that simvastatin will not have a place in the management of secondary progressive multiple sclerosis going forward. So again, just to avoid confusion, a simvastatin is an excellent drug for heart health. And if your doctor feels that you should be on it, for that, then of course you should be on it. And do not come off simvastatin if you're on it at the moment without consulting with your medical professional. But the MSTAT2 trial says that it doesn't have an effect on reducing the rate of disability progression in progressive, secondary progressive multiple sclerosis. I'm Caroline Wyatt. I have secondary progressive MS and I took part in the MSTAT2 trial. It felt like a huge privilege to be able to take part in the trial. And even if the result isn't what many of us had hoped for, I think it was really important to show that research is being done into things that can help people like me with secondary progressive MS. I'm Emma Gray, and I'm Assistant Director of Research at the MS Society. I would just like to take this moment to say an enormous thank you to the thousand odd participants that took part in the vital landmark MSDAT2 clinical trial, as well as Professor Chatterway and his team and all of the clinical sites up and down the country for their absolute dedication and service to the MS community. On behalf of the MS Society, we remain absolutely determined to find new treatments to slow disability progression for everyone with MS. So even though it's not the result we wanted, and of course uh, we're all disappointed both here and yourselves at home, I think it's really important to stress how vital this research has been. What's next for progressive MS research? So after the MSDAT2 trial, what happens next? Well, I think as some of you will know, we continue to push forward in developing and trialling treatments for progressive multiple sclerosis. And we have the Octopus trial that's been running for a couple of years, and about 300 or so people are taking part in that trial, and that will carry on. And we're trialling again very promising medications to have an effect on progressive multiple sclerosis. And really, I'd like to thank you, you all, your families, um, everyone who's been involved in this trial um, for doing that piece of work. Um, it has been fantastic uh, to be involved in it. Thank you. We're incredibly grateful to everyone who took part in the MS STAT2 trial. To find out more about how you can get involved in vital research like this, visit mssociety.org.uk forward slash take dash part dash in dash research.